Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fortress of Solitude. Today we're going to be checking in on the Gotham War and how it's meekly moving on in Catwoman issue 57 by Tini Howard and Nico Leon. As the event continues along in this third installment, I continue to wonder why this is even an event in the first place, especially when this could all just be averted Batman and Catwoman just talk to one another like the adults they supposedly are. This issue mostly doubles down on the ridiculousness of the last two issues, with Catwoman actively tracking the unstable Batman as he screams incoherently at his parents' graves, which I think is meant to be kind of like a serious sort of moment for the character, but it just comes across really funny of this character just raging against these tombstones. It's, it's a really funny visual. Again, I can't find anything about this so-called war that is really remotely interesting. It's just two characters having a petty argument and dragging their families and the city into it because of their egos. The character consistency is all over the place as well, with Batman being a lot less insane and violent than he was in the Batman ongoing. Very much like how they were in that first part of the series where both Teeny Howard and Chip Zdarsky were writing these characters. And here again, it feels like there's no connect between these two writers and they haven't really talked about what's happening with each of these characters so Batman just feels completely off in this book and that there is the real issue I have with the event the inconsistency in the characters since if they were at least consistent with how they were being portrayed chapter to chapter it would definitely make the event feel a little bit better and a little bit more better structured the issue isn't without its great parts and it all comes usually from things that aren't really to do with the Gotham War stuff they're tangentially related but it's really stuff that could have been revealed in just a normal Catwoman book, such as the identity of Marquise, who is Catwoman's right hand lady, and it shows us the woman doesn't actually exist or her identity doesn't actually exist, and it's actually Scandal Savage, Vandal Savage's daughter, and she has been manipulating Catwoman in this war, stoking Selena's already turbulent relationship with Bruce. This is further building on Vandal's role in all of this, which was revealed last issue of the Batman ongoing, and it hints that maybe he's more involved in this war than previously thought, and isn't just some third party who just happened to turn up at the wrong time, although I really wish that that is what happened. He just suddenly turned up to decide to fuck with Batman, and ended up getting Batman who is battling Zoranar, and Zoranar gets unleashed because of what Vandal is doing. That would have been hilarious. I am genuinely excited to learn more about Vandal and Scandal's plans and it's infinitely more interesting than just two rich people having a petty argument with their families. There's also a rather interesting dichotomy there with Batman and Catwoman's families warring with each other, always arguing over something and whatnot, yet Scandal and Vandal, two very dangerous and volatile and vicious people, are able to come together just to mess with these two characters. Nightwing as well is probably the MVP of this issue and kind of saying what we're all thinking in that he has a moment where he reminds Selina that they are adults and they should probably start acting like it. It's definitely something Dick would do and I love that he got that moment with Selina and it also related back to a moment where he was younger and it was one of his first meetings with Selina and he thought she was like the cool new stepmother and sort of treated him right and it was a really nice moment between these two people and it's also a reminder to her that they are a family and that she needs to stop acting like they aren't. Nico Leon's artwork is also fantastic, he's got a really great bold clean style and the way he draws these characters, specifically Batman, is just great. The costuming in the back half of the issue with Selina at the opera with Vandal and all the colourful masks and costumes she gets to wear were really great and they worked really well against the muted, very simple backgrounds. Despite some pretty cool twists to the storyline, Catwoman issue 57 still had many problems plagued by the other issues of this Gotham War event. It had inconsistent characters, characters just being written completely out of character from what they were in the previous part of this story. For something meant to be a big connective story between two writers and their two books, there is barely any consistency and it's really frustrating since you would think that because they are in the same family of books, the Bat family of books, there would be some communication but it appears to be none and that's really disappointing. I'm going to give this issue a 6 out of 10.